Hi, welcome back to the full stack development with Angular and Spring MVC. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have created a Maven project and we set up our database. In this video, we're going to configure the Spring and Hibernate. Before that, we need to fill this property file. The property file holds the MySQL properties like the driver name, URL, username and password for the MySQL database. And it also holds the Hibernate properties and the connection pooling properties. You might have thinking that why we are using a connection pooling. Let me clear you. Whenever we are creating enterprise applications, interacting with the database is very common. So creating and establishing a database connection is very, very expensive because we need to establish a network connection, initialize the database sessions, and we have to authorize the backend database. Due to this issue, it is always a good practice to use a connection pool in our application. So that will increase the performance and scalability of the application. By using a connection pool, we can reuse the already existing connections and prepare statements. So that will avoid the cost of establishing a connections. And C3P0 is just one of the library for connection pooling. You can use any other libraries like DBCP and any other available connection pooling libraries you can use. In this video series, we are going to use C3P0 connection pooling. Okay, enough talking, let's write the properties. So the first properties that we're going to write is a MySQL properties. I'll write a comment so that you can refer it later. MySQL properties. So the first property is MySQL.driver. I have to specify the driver name, com.mysql.cj.jdbc dot driver make sure the d is capital if you are using any other database then you have to find the respective driver name on the internet and write it here the second property is mysql dot url jdbc colon mysql colon double slash localhost colon double three zero six slash the database name in the previous video we have created a database which is a book api and the third property is mysql dot user and we have to write the username for the database in this case it's root if you have given any other names then write it here mysql dot password I have not set any password to my MySQL database, so I left this option as blank. If you set any password, then write it here. The next properties that we are going to write is Hibernate properties. Hibernate dot show SQL. I'll set this to true. So this will show all the SQL queries in the console when we run an application. You can also set this to false so that will not show any SQL queries in the console. Hibernate.hbm to ddl.auto. I'll set this to update. You can also set this to create. If you set a create every time when you run the application, all the database tables will be deleted and it will recreate. So if you use update so it won't delete any database tables, it will just update the database tables. So it's always recommended to use update. The next properties that we're going to write is connection pool properties, which is a C3P0 properties. Hibernate.C3P0.minimum size of the connection pool is five. copy this and I'll paste it and I'll change this to maximum size which is 20 copy this and I'll paste it the third property is acquire connection acquire increment this will tell us the number of connections acquired when the pool is exhausted change this to one copy this and I'll paste it 
four properties a timeout i'll set this to 1800 which is a seconds fifth property is hibernate dot c3p0 dot maximum statements in this case it's 150 all right we have written all the properties in the property file in the next video we're going to configure and spring and hibernate and we're going to read this property file and we will make use of these properties in the configuration thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video